Hi, Mark Howell here. Uh, in this video, we're going to give you a quick introduction to our spring tester, and we'll show you how to use it to calculate spring constants. First, let's take a look at the device itself. The tester is designed to fit on the chair in front of you. The thumb screw anchors the device to the chair. The rubber screw cover will prevent any damage to the chairs. Our extension spring hangs from the thumb screw. This block helps you measure the spring's displacement. Then we have our compression spring. And finally, a hook to hang the cloth bag. When attaching the device to the chair, you might have to bend the top hook a little bit like I've done here to get it to fit over the lip of the chair. Then you'll want to screw in the thumb screw until the spring tester sits vertically. Now we finally get to start testing. Start with the compression spring. Write down where the red line is on the plastic block before you start adding any weight. Then grab a couple of marbles and drop them in the bag. You'll probably want uh, five or six at a time. After you've added the marbles, mark down the new location on the red ruler line. After you have a good number of data points, you can remove the compression spring assembly by holding onto the block and the spring and unscrewing the main rod. Screw the assembly back together and put this aside for later. Now take the loop of string and thread it through the hole from the bottom. Then attach the hook to the bottom loop of the spring. You'll also want to make sure the spring is aligned such that the string will go straight down through the tube. If the bag hangs too close to the ground, make another loop or knot in the string a little higher up uh, and just hang it from that. It'll take a few marbles to overcome the initial tension in the spring, but be sure to write down exactly how many. You'll have to measure this displacement manually. Just be sure and take a measurement from eye level. You can see I'm kind of cheating here because my string was a little bit too long and the bag ended up touching the ground. After you're done measuring the extension spring, unhook the string and detach it from the device. Grab the compression spring assembly that you put aside earlier and reattach it to the tester so that everything is in one piece again. Now you can unscrew the thumb screw and remove the spring tester from the chair. And that's it. Just make sure and return the tester, the cloth bag, and all the marbles when you're done. The screw cover will probably pop off when detaching the device from the chair, so be sure and grab that as well.